So one of the things that people take for granted is doing housework. Maybe not taking for granted, but not really thinking about how difficult it actually is. Hi, I'm Megs. I'm the creator of the Wheel Life blog, a blog devoted to living your best life with a physical disability. I talk all things disability, health and fitness, mindset, and productivity or organization. So like I was saying, there's a sense of independence when you can take care of a household, right? After a spinal cord injury, that sense of independence can be taken away. And one of the things that I um, pride myself on is being able to live by myself, take care of myself, take care of my house by myself. And one of those things that I have to do, and I actually hate doing it, is sweeping and mopping the floor. I purposely have hardwood floors to make it so much easier to get around, but the, the upkeep is just terrible and I hate doing it, but it needs done. So I thought I would show you how I sweep and mop my hardwood floors. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I'll show you in an area that is more congested and then an area where it is um, more open. So here we go. Okay, so I have my sweeper here. You can see that it's really lightweight. Um, it is a Bissell um, pet something. It's a Bissell something, but um, really lightweight. Um, this can come out and you have a little dust buster thing um, and you just plug it in to charge it. And it pretty much lasts um, my whole place. Um, it's not the biggest place, but um, it has some pretty good battery on it. So I like it. Um, I obviously just use it to sweep up some things and then I will show you the next step. So what I do in a congested area is I use the furniture to help me move. Um, that way I can move this forwards and backwards, hang on for stability, and move when I need to. So, here we go. Swiffer with a wet pad and do some mopping. Now, before you start yelling at me for using the cloth and throwing them away and it's such a waste and blah, 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 I've tried the washcloth and soap method and it's just, it just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. I do what I can for the environment, but this is just not one of them and I'm okay with that. But this um, is really similar to the sweeping. This is a lot lighter, so it's a lot easier. Um, and again, I just use the furniture around to kind of help move me um, and make it that much easier. So let's mop. <laughs> do not have um, furniture around. It's just a lot of um, trying to move your core if you're able to, or um, just using, using your wheelchair to move the way you want it to when you want it to. That's the trick. Um, and then just kind of doing back and forth little motions 
to kind of keep you stable and um, moving forward. So I always start like back and go forward. Does that make sense? You know what? That's a lie. So I always start forward and kind of move backwards. So that's kind of how I found works best for me. So I hope it works for you. Comment below if this helps. to see in a future video. Being in a chair for 12 years, I feel like I've picked up some things along the way and I would love to help you out. So comment below what uh, future video you'd like to see or what the best part of this video was. Um, let's keep those happy thoughts, productivity, and self-care going. And until next time, live honestly, passionately, and with kindness.